Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the 9 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. I've just recorded my show of 8 to 9. that will be replayed at 10 to 11. We're looking at the the E-mini futures down 35. You can see this uh, nine, uh, nine period moving average below the 14 period stayed pink all the way from about 7.30 this morning. Still pink. We'll see now it's flattening out. Is it able to turn around? I would just say, <clears throat> from my perspective, that the 10-minute chart suggests that it would take a rally into the 40. 399.4405 area to really make a big difference and you're at 4389 right now so that's going to be key and certainly the the 380s uh, 4380s has to hold the support looking at the uh, that's a, that's the e-mini we're looking at we're looking at the ym which is the dow futures down 205 normally in this kind of seller from a peak if you get really big, strong, triple-digit down days in the Dow, that's a bad sign. But this, in this case, it's actually been just a whittle away to the downside. It hasn't really been big moves. You can see red candles, but it's not 400 points or anything like that. It's 200 points. So we'll see whether or not this sustains. The nine period is still over the 14 period moving average. If there's, a, if the Dow futures start to trade in the 33,900 uh, to 33,800 uh, area. That's going to be a big negative, but in the meantime, there could be a bounce, and we'll see if that if the if the if the Dow uh, the Dow itself at uh, after 130 is more than minus 50 or minus 60. That says, uh oh, it, it's really struggling. But if it actually even gets close to minus 20 or plus 20, that's going to be a good turnaround situation. So let's just go through this again. We've got the QQQ, the NDX 100, down 3.81. Finally, they're catching up to the others down at 36, but still the technicals on the day and weekly look really strong. Well, I'll go to the gold right now. Gold was up a little bit earlier on. Now it's up 16, and that means the dollar is probably giving back some of those big gains. It is it up 39 ticks. Nice scan so far at 102.81 TLT something I'm watching because so far it's been stuck in a range up $1.41 at 103.71 and crude oil I didn't do that at all in my show I meant to crude oil is just down it's making that H pattern I've been saying crude oil looks very weak and it is down for 150 have a wonderful rest of the day stay tuned for morning market kickoff with Tommy Jr great programming here at TFNN and I'll see you on Monday <laughs>